Hey guys, Dan here from BHX411. Today in front of me I have a 2019 Subaru Subaru airbag module. I'll show you how the reset process is done. This particular Subaru airbag module, I believe it has a Renesis 1725 or 26, one of those processors. So I'll show you how the process of clearing it is done. Now if you're first time here on our channel, go ahead and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and of course like and share. Otherwise, if you need the service done, you don't have the equipment, at the end of the video I will post a link and on the bottom of the video. Alright, let's get to work. This one right here, here's the Subaru part number. Here is the back of it. I have removed my cover. It only has five screws, five little bolts. And how we're gonna do it, I will be using the CPT programmer. If you can see, there is no EEPROM inside of it. So I do know it's a Renesis. I can also identify if it's a Renesis because their grounds are gold plated and of course from experience so you can see this is the Renesis processor it's pretty hard to read it let me put it under my microscope and see alright here is the processor and of course we cannot read the part number of it it's really really hard to read the part number I can see the 8x 17 2 and the rest I don't really see it so what I'm gonna do is I'll zoom in so we can see the processor I will get acetone you can use the PCB board cleaner like acetone and I'll just get an ear swab clean this guy right here this is the processor the Renesis processor let it dry out and you can probably see it here 1726 I believe so let me microscope this again and it's H8SX1726. So now we know what kind of processor is inside of it. I will go to my programmer. I will set it to Renesis H8SX172 X which is it could be one or two or six or nine whatever so we'll just do 17 2 x UART JTAG is a little bit more complicated sometimes the pin has to com come undone just to read the processor we'll just do the UART way we'll just reflash it so click the UART way and then I will choose what kind of processor I have this is the 26 so Brennan says 26 so I set my processor now I need to connect to it to read it I will follow the instructions on their website that they provide so it looks like it's gonna be on the backboard I will put it back into the bracket let me zoom out a little bit as you can see our board matches the picture they have here and same thing goes with this clean it up with acetone or PCB cleaner let me get another ear swab okay and I will clean just the pins or just the places on the board that we'll be connecting to. So, I'm going 
gonna come here. Looks like we'll be soldering on this end of the resistor. All right, cleaned it up, looks pretty good. All right, according to my pinout, I will be shorting this area right here. I like to touch one side and the other side and then kind of melt it together. That way we have a short for programming only according to the picture over there. So that is a short now. Here is a pin number one. That side of the resistor will be connecting pin number two. Pin number five is going to be here. Six is going to be here. Seven is going to be here. And nine is going to be right here. So there you have it. So I just put a little bit of solder and I will be connecting my CPT programmer. This is the programmer I'm using. CPT. Pin number one is going to be your red one. So I'll be using the pin number one. And according to the picture, this is the location. And pin number two is going to be next one from the red and 10 is the very last one so you just count them out so 2 is going to be this resistor missing 3 and 4 or skipping 3 and 4 5 is right here <clears throat> 6 is right here seven right there and skipping eight nine all right double checking make sure all the connections are connected according to the picture pinout I'll carefully remove it and I will find the file according to this part number and again CPT provides that so here's my CPT it's set up for the right processor I'll go support clear file 172 because that's the file we need it for now I know this is a Subaru so We'll click on a Subaru and the part number will be 988, I mean 98221FL00A. So they all start with 98221. We just gotta find FL00A, which is right here. I will go ahead and open my file. and I will save it to my desktop because if you save it in a folder sometimes this CPT programmer does not see it it only sees it on the pro uh, desktop so now that I got my programmer set up I got my connections also set up found my file I'll click right and I'll click the part number which is 98221FLOA double checking make sure it is the correct part number in this case it is 
click open and right here as you can see it says busy and it's gonna write the file for you so this is how easy it is to write if you have a good clear file for this particular part number now if you don't have a file that's when you're gonna have to use the JTAG read it and clear it which is super hard removing the pins from the processor sometimes better to wait for a file all right looks like we got some writing going on right here it says busy while it's writing if you want training we do offer training you can go to carmenauto.com website read more about it and if you want the service done you don't want to buy the expensive programmers or files because obviously all some of these files you do have to purchase <clears throat> especially the CPT USB they are on a yearly and as soon as the year goes by and you stop paying for it they will discontinue that service alright once it's done writing it says ready right here and also over here if you're in this menu it would say erase unlock memory done write memory done CRC OK make sure you focus on this CRC OK why if it doesn't say CRC OK and sometimes it could go to all the way to the green over here and it says ready here but CRC is not OK you need to choose the exact same MPU so if you chose 1725 and it doesn't CRC OK it choose the right one in order for it to be cleared because it will not clear it alright file done file cleared that's how easy it is I will remove it I will just touch a little bit on the very bottom just touch it melt it and just pull it out touch it melt it put it out pull it out melt it pull it up melt it pull it up now always don't forget to remove this short pin always has to be in the same way as it was from the factory now let me just clean up a little bit that way we don't have a lot of solder sticking out make sure there's no solder I'll also clean it up a little bit double check it and it's good so, so it looks like we just connected to it wrote the clear file and that is it that is how you reset a renaissance or renesis MPU with a CPT thanks for watching subscribe like and do share see you in the next video